everyone, I'm Hebe and welcome back. I saw that Pat McGrath restocked her popular Mothership 3 Subversive palette and I thought I might do a video and do several looks with this palette. I already have this one and it's been a while since I used it so I thought this would be a great time to do a video with this palette, the Mothership 3. And I want to say when I got this one, it was one of the early palettes that I got from Pat McGrath. It was so early that I threw away the box and the, the card that has the names of the shades, I threw that one away. So I don't have the box for this one so I pretty much have to open it to see which Mothership this is because there's no name on the front or on the back to let me know that this is the Mothership 3 Subversive. So yeah, I do have three or four palettes that I do not have the boxes that I have to open up to see which ones are which, but that's okay. But anywho, let me show you the Subversive palette. Very pretty, very different. You have two matte shades, her beautiful metallics, and these four are her Bliss Asphalt shades, and they are just beautiful. This one's $125, so it is pricey, but Pat McGrath does have sales, and I would definitely pick this one up if you're really interested in it when she has a sale. Let me go ahead and do some live swatches of this palette first, and then we'll go into the looks. I brought y'all in closer, so hopefully you can see the swatches a little bit better, and let me go ahead and roll up my sleeves, and we'll start with the first one, Skin Show Fever. This one does have a little bit of a peachy undertone. It's very pretty and very smooth. Next one is Night Creature. Let me try to make that one better. There you go. This palette has only two matte shades, and here's one of them, Deep Shade, and this one is very pretty, very smoothing, very blendable. I'm just not swatching them right. I guess down here it just seems to come off. And then the next one is one of my favorite shades, Gigabyte, and the look that I did with this shade, I love it. So here is Gigabyte. It's very pretty. It's more like an antique gold with some green to it. Very pretty. And the last one on the first row is VR Pink. Next is Extreme Black, and this is the other matte shade that's in this palette. And it is very extreme, but you can blend it out to kind of sheer it out. And it's very smoothing, very smoothing. It's not scary at all with this black shade. This one's Lazarus, and you can make this one all in one and just a beautiful everyday look. Very smoothing, look at that. I wish I did more of a look with this one as a everyday one and done, but it's very pretty. Next is Black Metal and another beautiful shade. This one, you could really smoke it out. That is very pigmented and you can see some blue in there. Very pretty, another one they could do a one and done. I do have Black Metal in this look in the outer corner, but the next one, the Bliss Amethyst that I have on my lid, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. I hope you can see the shift in there. One way it looks blue, another way it looks purple, and you can even see some pink in there. Here I am pinching my arm. <laughs> now I do have to say that it does transfer to the top part of my lids, but still it's very pretty. And you'll see how I did this look at the end. And then the last one, Astral Ghost Orchid. Another one that has like a pink shift to it. Hope you can see that there. So here are the swatches from the Mothership 3 Subversive Palette, and it's very pretty. It's just screams Pat McGrath. I did three looks with this palette and the first two will be set to music and the last one, which is this one, I talked in it. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps you guys. But I really enjoyed going back to this palette and making some incredible looks. At least that's what I thought. I love the looks and even my husband loved the looks. It's making me want to go back to use the other Mothership palettes because it's been a while since I've used one. Especially a subversive and I know it can be a little scary, especially with these Bliss Astral shades, but they are beautiful. They are beautiful and the two matte shades, even though there's only two, they work well with every shade. And with these two, you can easily do a one and done, even with the matte shade one and done. All right, let me go ahead and show you the three looks that I did, and I'll see you on the other side.
look, let's go into deep shade. Of course, this shade is going to be in every look that I do because I need that transition. And place that in my crease, above my crease. Using the Jumbo Blender, I'm going to go in with Black Metal. I'm going to first place that in the outer corner and just see how that would look. I'm going to kind of bring that to the center too. Let me use my finger to see if that will make a difference. That gave it a little bit more pigment there. Let's try this beautiful shade Blith Amethyst and let's place that in the also in the middle and towards the inner corner. Let's just see how that would work. Well, I won't go to the inner corner. I'll just stick it right here. <laughs> that is pretty. It has such a beautiful shift to it. Should I go with this one, the Astral Ghost Orchid or Skin Show Fever? This one right up here. Let me swatch them and see. Do I want more pink or more gold? Hmm, decisions. Let's try the gold because I haven't tried that shade yet. So let's go with the Skin Show Fever. Let's go in with the Extreme Black and add that to the outer corner of my eye just to kind of deepen it up a little bit more. I think it's looking good. I think it's looking good. The Bliss Amethyst is so pretty, especially up against black metal. I think that's very pretty. And I do like placing the gold in the inner corner. That's really pretty. Oh, and I see just a little bit of fallout, just a little bit from the Bliss Amethyst. The Skin Show Fever, that's just from my finger right there from pressing up against it. But yeah, real pretty. It blended out beautiful. No effort at all. So let me put the face makeup on. I'll come back and do underneath my eyes. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to go back in with Deep Shade and place that all underneath my eyes. And bring it up to connect there in the outer corner. Now I'm going to go in with the Extreme Black and place that in the outer corner underneath my eyes. Now let me go put the rest of my makeup on. And here is the finished look. And yeah, I love this look. I actually love all three looks that I did. Now the look that I did with Gigabyte, you could have easily switched it out with Bliss Amethyst. You could easily put that one in the center instead of what I did with Gigabyte, but I kind of like the one with Gigabyte. And even while I was doing it, I thought maybe I could do one eye with Gigabyte and the other eye with Bliss Amethyst, but I had to do a video right after that. So I went ahead and did both eyes the same. And actually you could switch it out with VR Pink or even Night Creature. Maybe Lazarus and Black Metal might be too dark with that look using the Halo technique, but that look with Gigabyte was beautiful. I think is one of my favorite looks that I did with this palette. This one's pretty and the first one that I did is too, but the look that I did with Gigabyte, beautiful. I love that. That one's my favorite. So I'm glad that Mother Pat restocked this palette because it is really pretty and I know it can be intimidating with these shades, but you could make beautiful looks with this from an everyday look to a smoky look and everything in between. Deep shade just blended out very beautifully. It was very smoothing on my lids. And extreme black, you could make it very extreme or you can kind of sheer it out. So even though it does have two matte shades, they are Pat McGrath's formula. They are beautiful. I am noticing that Bliss Amethyst is kind of transferring to the top of my lids here, but that's the only one that I saw. I didn't see it with Gigabyte or with VR Paint, but this one does, maybe because of the color or the formula, but still, it, it works. And again, if you are interested in this palette, definitely wait for a sale. This one does cost $125. It is pricey, but you know that there's going to be a sale, so might as well wait. At least that's what I'm trying to do with some of these new releases. Just wait until there's a sale and then get it. And then hopefully I'll do a video. Oops, just hit my brushes. <laughs> <laughs> everything is just getting so expensive now. Yeah, I just have to try to continue my low buy, use my existing palettes like I did with this one. And it was, oops, because we have all this makeup, so might as well use it. But with some of these new releases, yeah, I'm definitely trying to wait for a sale. And I have all the Mothership palettes except for the last one. Let me look. Yeah, I don't have Mothership 9 Utopian Dream, but I have all the other Mothership palettes. And if there is one that you want me to do a video on, just leave a comment down below and I will do it. Because this was fun going back to my old palettes, especially one as very creative as this one, the Subversive palette. Very pretty. Again, Gigabyte and the rest, these four right here, beautiful. The matte shades. Yeah, I can't say that enough. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna say because I've been saying the same things over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked and enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.